I'm Chris Moore and you can all bite me. Uh, bite me is the third in a series of vampire books I've written. The first one was Blood Sucking Fiends. The second one, You Suck, A Love Story. And this one, Bite Me, A Love Story. It takes place in San Francisco. And the whole story begins actually here at the Transamerica Pyramid. Most of the story in this book is told by Abby Normal, this perky goth girl who has always been waiting for something really dark to happen to her. And she ends up narrating this book when she's taken on as a minion for vampires, which is like every goth girl's dream. You sort of get a lot of different people's love story in this when she, uh, I don't know, meets her genius uh, Chinese-American boyfriend, Foo Dog. Um, it's an adventure from there. Sorry, there's shit going on behind you. A lot of all my San Francisco books take place in Chinatown. We're on Grant Street right now, and this is sort of the toy street of Chinatown. Um, it's one of the oldest streets in San Francisco. Um, during the gold rush, the entire street was uh, brothels, basically, on either side of the street, which is why they built this, uh, this church that warns everybody, don't be a hoe. That bus is called the Dirty 30. I, can't, I get the flu every time I get on it. I swear to God. Well, the main uh, antagonist in Bite Me is Chet, the huge shaved vampire cat. In the last book, he was shaved so the vampires could feed off him because they were getting too much fur in their mouth. In the process of humping all of the, all the alley cats in the city, he is also turning them into vampires. So the entire city of San Francisco is being menaced by a herd of, of vampire cats, you know, which is kind of cool. You can get a haircut in Chinatown for six bucks. I was headed for a trip to England to research a book and I got one of these six dollar haircuts and the entire time it was on a tour, they all treated me like I was a make-a-wish kid because the haircut was so bad. I think, I think the thing that sets this apart from most vampire books that are out now is one, my vampires aren't shiny and they don't go out during the day and second, um, it, it's a comedy and uh, there's none of this risk to the forehead, tragic brooding on the moors uh, attitude that you have with a lot of uh, vampire books. I think we're being thrown out of the park. Bite me. Hey, hey, bite me.